If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Bro, look at that dynamic image, though. What am I looking at, dude? What? Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Uh, guys, new Del Piero is out. Probably gonna be a Hunter Kemmerich South Flex right off the bat. Let's be honest. Ooh, what is that play style? Is that is what is that? Is that a long ball pass? That's actually nice. A long ball pass. I'm telling you guys, is really really good. Okay, it's really good. Okay, so regular finesse shot, dead ball, long ball pass, flare, first touch, and technical. He's formatted strangely in dribbling, isn't he? I knew it. I knew it. It's because of his previous cards, right? They always do that with him. Um, I think Del Piero, like, if he is the same, excuse me, this year as he is in previous years, you're not going to care. You know what's crazy? He doesn't have Trivella, but, like, isn't the Hunter formatted for an 89 for shot par? That could be a W to work with, actually. This is a card that is definitely mainly used as an actual cam, for sure. Without a question, right? Hunter Kemmerich shall be boosting the pace as well as the shooting. Passing on the cards in a really good area, considering the play style that he has and whatnot. Dead ball. Also, the free kicks and stuff could be nice, too. Um, yeah, dribbling is the main thing that we have to focus on. Again, in previous years, it was usually him and Zola that had certain dribbling that you didn't really care too much about, right? So this card is a 91, which is an improvement on the 90 version. So some interesting stuff, A2 stamina, like, the, bro, the way that this card is formatted is literally for the cab spot. Low stamina, you probably keep him on, like, a stay forward with, like, a free roam or something, let him do his thing, you know? That's funny. All right, uh, should have the loan cards. Let me go get that, and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Uh, with Del P, guys, we're just going to be using him in the, um, in the cam position, right? Just right there, cam position. We're going to play him with, uh, with Mario Balotelli. Because might as well, right? I need the uh, Italian icon for that link. Because Mario Bellatelli needs so many Italian players. So, uh, unless you have other icons in your team as well, right? So, uh, yeah. Let's go see what he's like. So, Del Peak. No! Nice pass. Woo! I like it, Del P. I like it. Good assist there by Balotelli. That's a lot of passes, right? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, almost. Listen, he has the traits, man. If I, hey, listen, if I can't do that trade, I'll cry. I'll, I'm serious. I'll cry, bro. I'll take it. Thank you very much, sir. Very nice. Oh, seriously? Dude, I'll tell you this right now. If he had Finesse Shot Plus, maybe he actually scores that, eh? As well under pressure. There we go. Ball roll, lob pass, ball weighted. Scale move, get back in. There we go. Take it out a little bit. There you go. Ah, oh, no. Nice pass. Real 
Let's go, Del P. Let's go, Del P. I want that lob. I mean, that run. I like what I'm seeing, boys. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, I try to use a technical dribbling on the inside. Ah, uh, nothing on the white. Not even a white. I just didn't even try the timing there. Beautiful. Good assist. Great finish. Let's go. Ooh, very nice. Got to time the technical dribbling a little bit. Great little finish. I like it. Ah, oh, man. See, I think I would have preferred the finesse shot plus, man. I'm going to be honest. You're offside, Del P? No way, man. That still does well on the dribble there. Let's go, Del P. Well done, my boy. Good finish. There you go, gotta utilize that law pass, man. No, what is the registration? Should be a goal. There we go. Well done, lads. Well done. Oh, I would have been sick. Maybe an, maybe on a green, eh? Maybe on a green. Ooh, what a pass. I like it. I like it. Very good play. Very, very nice, boys. I like it. That's that law pass, man. Got those accurate law passes. Well, it certainly is a big day for him as he brings up the half century mark in terms of appearances for the club steward. So what a good signing he's going to bring. He's the full position character and the first. Mm-hmm. That's that law pass, man. Got those accurate law passes. Oh, it still worked out. Ah, almost, almost. I was trying to wait for the uh, space to open up there. Gotta use a lot of pass whenever you have the chance, you know? Ligrin, switch upwards.
Still have the ball. Oh, never mind. Let's go, Del P. Let's go, my boy. Good finish. It worked out. That worked out. That worked out. You got back quick enough there to um, score the opportunity. Oh, the run was there, man. I could have had the law pass. Made it work. Made it work. Yep. So he's definitely one of the few people that has like the dribbling stats that he has, but it still feels okay in game, right? Like I'm usually utilizing a lot of the, um, the controlled sprint on the card, like just holding our one in the right positions to kind of accelerate into spaces. And he's obviously doing a great job. Not a lot of players have agility and balance like this and actually still dribble fine. And um, he definitely feels like one of those uh, types of players, not necessarily on like those left sticks. So once you start doing this stuff, right? Like this. That's when it's like nice, right? Oh, I actually got a finesse shot. Wow. I actually got one. Let's go. Well, he does have the regular one, so he should be able to score some at least, you know? Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Del Piero card. So guys, let's talk about this card. Let's talk about some of the icons that EA have been releasing and all that kind of stuff, okay? So a few things to mention, right? Del Piero is definitely one of the few cards that has dribbling stats like this, but still dribbles well in game. Not necessarily crazy left stick wise, it's still really good to be fair, but it's when you start to utilize the R1 let go of it, R1 let go of it, like the L1 and stuff, like the card actually dribbles pretty nicely, right? Attacking AI in the cam position, honestly, pretty solid as well. Like when I, for me personally, like when I have him on that free roam instruction for him to kind of like do his thing, I like the way that he gets involved in different positions to kind of get into those goal scoring areas. Like building up the play with this card is still really, really nice to do. I definitely like that a lot, right? Um, with this card, I obviously gave him mostly the Hunter chemistry style, just because I wanted to be able to boost the acceleration, sprint speed, and shooting capabilities of the card as much as possible. People on Footbin, they're giving Engine and Hawk, and I just think that's like super weird because if you get to that point and you, you, know, you do that for these types of cards, it's just not ideal because you'll get into certain positions where you want to have certain capabilities, right? Here's what I'll say, man. The price of the SBC is a little too crazy, okay? That's the first thing that I got to mention. It's definitely too crazy. One of the main crazy reasons, well, not the crazy reasons, one of the main reasons why it's crazy is because, let's be honest, I think when it comes to play styles, I think we all prefer to have Finesse Shot Plus over the Law Pass one. This is a 100% thing that we definitely need to mention because Finesse Shot Plus it adds that variable of when you are facing people that are parking the bus, you have that specific animation to go for. Even though it's been nerfed like 15 to 20 percent, I would say like 15 ish, right? Having the plus version of it, these guys still hit the ball really well. I have the player of the month Griezmann on my account, and that card saves me on a lot of occasions because of that finesse shot plus, which FIFA mechanics, but you know the vibes, right? So in my opinion, and you hear me out when I talk about this, right? So because today's Christmas Day, I would have maybe been okay with the price of the SBC, the way that EA does things, if he was the first card this year that had two gold play styles. Now, I know it's a little crazy to say, right? But you have to take into consideration that as an SBC, it's 600k, okay? 600k for a card that, in my opinion, got a worse play style in comparison to his regular card and... The difference between this card and the regular card is in plus ones for the most part. Now, obviously, you do get that little bit of a balance boost, but you still feel that base mechanic, right? The only time that it would be like really worth the price is if you were to really boost 
the base dribbling of the card to be in the 90s area. If it was in the 90s area, then I would give him a little bit more of a pass, right? But it's a one and a three. That base mechanic is still kind of going to be a thing with this card, right? Guys, generally speaking, though, is Del Piero a pretty decent card to use in game? Yeah, you know, we, we've scored a lot of goals with him. He got involved in a lot of different situations. I like the way that he shoots the ball. Um, the five star weak foot's obviously a huge variable to work with when it comes to the goal scoring capabilities. Like, there was a lot of situations where the power strikes just, just came off very, very cleanly on the card, and I liked it a lot. But the price is just crazy. You know, I, I definitely agree with the dislike to like ratio or the like to dislike ratio for this SBC because it's a little bit crazy. So it's it's funny because we get we get one of the SBCs this year that is valued like this, which is just insane. But then we get a crazy value in Balotelli, right? So the, way, the reason why they do this is because they're like, oh, you know, people are addicted to SBCs. That's what it comes down to, right? So they're like, we're going to make this SBC and we're going to give him a law pass because Balotelli actually moves a certain way on the high-low work rates, like running in behind. So we want to do that little direct link thing there, you know? But yeah, it's a little bit crazy on the price, in my opinion. I think they definitely could have done better with that, especially with the play styles. But like I said, that's why I'm saying like, oh, you know, if you gave him like two golds and stuff, it would have been sick. But guys, listen, I'm talking about the price of the SBC, all that stuff. Is the card still pretty solid to use in game? It is, man. You know, I like the way that he moves. I like the way that he shoots the ball. Uh, the passes are very well weighted and stuff. The dribbling, again, you have to get used to it a little bit. But like I said, he's one of the few that has dribbling stats like that that still dribbles pretty well. Um, but it's just the price. The price is like, I, I got to agree with the like to dislike ratio on this one, especially with the play style change. If it was like two golds, I'll be like, you know what, dude? We'll take it because finesse shot plus is crazy, but I still liked him. It's just, you know, I, I, with the price of the SBCs, you know, some of you guys have fodder like crazy. Uh, you know, it's up to you, but yeah. Listen, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'm not going to say happy holidays just yet. Well, actually, no, I will say happy holidays just in case you guys don't watch the next video because I have to do the evolution still. But happy holidays. I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.